This playthrough is rated T for teen. Don't you just love this simulation music? It just makes me feel like we're having a good time, not that we're in the middle of Venezuela being chased by the state army in hopes of finding that goal, which they probably know we don't have the gold, but we're in the area anyway, and they're probably taking no chances. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Front Mission. And like I said before, last episode, we got a truck for the gold, but unfortunately we were attacked because we're UCS and uh, our truck was destroyed, so now we have to find a way to get the gold somewhere else. We'll be able to get it to the next location, or some safe location until we can get a truck. Let's find out. Well, probably not today anyway, because, uh, well, you'll find out here in a second, but help! Don't worry, amigo. We're not going to kill you. We only want to ask you a few questions. First, how much do you know about us? Just that you stole the cargo that was on the governor transport. The governor himself has ordered you captured. So they knew about us stealing that cargo. Dang it. How do you guys know it was us? Now I'm just going to give Rainy as the deep voice, because this voice actor has a super deep voice, so... The radio! We overheard you talking to the radio after the transport crashed. Oh, nuts. What? Schaefer, please tell me you changed the frequencies after we heard that distress call from the transport. Uh, no, I, I didn't. I, I just turned the volume down because it was so loud. Moron! Schaefer, I'm going to kill you! Ah, help! Do you know what the, tra uh, the transport was carrying? No, we were not told anything about that. So the Three Stooges got caught because of incompetence. Well, that sounds about right for this whole campaign in general. That's pretty much the, the theme of the UCS campaign for the most part, and I love it. It's Actually, I probably enjoy this campaign a bit more than the European campaign. Uh, the European campaign is obviously more serious and more competent people dealing with the threat. Here, they still deal with the threat, but they kind of get out of it like a goofy situation like you would like a Saturday morning cartoon or like, you know, an adventure s series or movie where just like they barely get out the, with the, you know, with their tails tucked between their legs or something like that. I don't know. I just find it more entertaining. Oh, sorry. Get back here, Shaver. I I'm sorry, Daryl. Don't hurt me. Easy, Daryl. We have more important things to worry about now, don't we? Huh. I guess you're right. Schaefer, I'll kill you later. <laughs> I'll most likely kill you in the morning, Wesley. What base are you stationed at? Ginorama? Ginorama? Eh, whatever. That was fast. Why lose time? I do not want to die. Besides, it's not as if we are fighting for some great purpose. We we're just doing our jobs. Eh, just a minute, man, huh? Isn't succession for the UC has a great purpose for you? No, not for us. And it's only the boss wants it so he can have more autonomy and more power in his own country. That's usually how it is. Never mind. Show us where your base is. No, that guy talked quickly, yeah, because he's just like a, just a regular goon who, you know, really has no choice in the matter, but this gives him an, an ability to get out of it, so. Ginaramba base, huh? I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, I could be wrong. Hey, that's pretty close. You are UCS soldiers, yeah? Well, uh, why don't you know where our bases are? Because they're idiots. Because the three of us aren't really interested in this war. We're like you. We don't have a great purpose worth fighting for. And also because we've always hated doing our homework. <laughs> uh, the cheekiness of the characters. I love it. Like I said, I kind of like this group more. I mean, I still like Elsa's group too. It's just I have more of a fondness for this group out of the two. What would you want with the state army base? We need a new truck. <laughs> Moron. Yeah, so? It's a military base. They should have one big enough for us. Right? So we're going to steal another truck? No. We're only trading our old one for one of theirs. See? Equal. What is it? The law of, uh, the law of um, alchemy or whatever? Equal, equal parts or whatever? Uh, I'm sorry for leaving you tied up here, amigo, but I'm sure your buddies will come and find you soon enough. All right, all right. Oh, and we need your uniform, too. Sorry. Okay. You people are strange. You do not act like soldiers. Yeah, they don't have the heart of a soldier. Or the heart of the cards. You're not the first one to tell us that, but uh, we, like the way, we like the way we are. Yeah, at least they're stuck in... Or, th at least they, you know, like who they are. Yeah, let's talk to Renius. We should get out of here before they send a search party for that squad. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Schaefer? 
Sneaking into a state armor base? Nope, no way he gets hurt. <laughs> eh, that's a lie, and we know it. How about you? You must have sold something very important. The governor was really upset. <laughs> Only his getaway money, basically. Okay. Oops, I did not mean to click on him again. All right, now we can finally Vons are set up. So yeah, we're not gonna do plot today. We're gonna do another simulation because we gotta get our EP up. So uh, really all I need for this is to change my armor type to impact for the um, for this. But uh, we can go over their equipment setup just like before. Yeah, you see the Beliza. Uh, yeah, Daryl is not much of an evasion house as you can see there. Uh, a yeah, decent hit, 10%. I'm, I forgot what the best percentage hitting in the game is. I think it's from rare max that you can get. 25% uh, evasion. He just doesn't get any from the body piece, so oh, never mind then. I guess that kind of makes sense because he's supposed to be an assault class. But uh, Okay, Rinya's is in the Rhesus build. There's where the low evasion is for him because he needs the power and weight for his rifle, basically. And he's got decent to hit. That's why he almost hits with an 80 plus, depending on where he's at for the most part. And same thing. Oh, it's Dia Diablo Avionics, or Diablo, whatever. So some evasion on the legs, but that kind of cancels out with the body. So yeah, he's gonna get hit more often than not. Then uh, Schaefer and the, his Giza build. He's, like I said, he's very similar to uh, uh, Hermes. He's meant to have, he's meant to basically your B HP battery, uh, not to do a lot of damage. He can do damage if you build him that way, but yeah, we got the cast rate for Daryl, the Type 5 rifle for Renyes, and yeah, look at that hit percentage, like 95% if you're up close and 82% from uh, far away, so rifles are pretty good. Yeah, they're not as good as like maybe missiles because of missiles always hit, but yeah, they're still they're still very, very nice uh, uh, to use. It just really depends on the situation. And uh, Schaefer's got a Raptor right there. Yeah, no, uh, no uh, missiles for this group, but uh, and then Schaefer's got the repair backpack, as it you can see there. Uh, restore costs two AP, repair costs one AP. Yeah, it doesn't cost that much to repair stuff overall, uh, but obviously you're not going to be doing damage, so it just, just de kind of depends. Yeah, he doesn't have a backpack. None of them do except for him. And then items, none of them have items. So, all right, let's see if we can get some coloring in there. Oh, we can finally change our camouflage a bit. Um, I'm more of a partial to blue myself, but I don't want to make them all the same color. So we'll go with Daryl being uh, urban. And then let's go. I'm trying to go something bright, like yeah, you know, let's go copper. And and by the way, I'm not a like a a fashion designer, so you'll have to like. If I do weird melding of colors and stuff like that, it's just because I'm like, eh, whatever, this looks good. Yeah, I think mint would work. Right, let's change. Oh, yeah, what's his name? Hmm. Let's call him a, a shyster. I mean, that's not really what he is, but actually, hold on. Let me back up. All right, now I've got the perfect name for him. Mo. You probably know where I'm going with this. Larry. And Curly. <laughs> ah, the Three Stooges. I think it's... Yeah. I, don't, I mean... Uh, I mean, true, they're not all goofy like that. Like, Rainier seems to be the more serious one out of the group. But I've got to go with that, so... Okay. Let's change your coloring. You look like a... Yeah, you look like a swamp type. Let's see. What am I feeling? Yeah, I could go with like maybe dark color. Nah. I don't know if that goes with the swamp theme or not. Let's see. I'm just trying to think what looks good. Like I said, I'm not very good at uh, maybe a darker color. I mean, usually when you're doing camouflage, it's usually like greens with bits of black. Like, to represent, like, being in a jungle or something like that, so... Yeah, let's go Dark Sepia. And... Maybe a yellow, maybe? Eh, all of them seem to work. Or at least, not what I want. Ooh, full leaf green? Early green? It's a bit bright, but we'll, we'll do it anyway. 
All right, and then for Schaefer, uh, yeah, we'll go with Geometric, keep him kind of similar to that. What am I feeling with him? Doesn't look too bad, but let's try something different, like maybe something a bit brighter. Wisteria, huh? All right. And... I'm just gonna see what goes, we'll go, maybe more of like a lightish red that we go with this maybe. Yeah, let's go with blonde, like his hair color. I mean, yeah, it looks terrible, but hey. All right, did I set, I said all their armor types, didn't I? Okay. All right, let's uh, exit out of there. They're all prepared and ready to go. All right, let's do our pilot setup. Let's see what we've got. Okay, we've got some EP. So let's see what abilities uh, the boys, the Stooges, get in this case. Speed, evasion, shotgun level, damage block 10. That's not a, not a bad ability, but still a case of um, it's not always guaranteed to work. But this is one that'd be more likely, but it'll depending on where you're at and if you've got the right shielding, though. Like, if you have impact against shotguns, this is a possibility of unlocking. Um, let's see, Auto Machine 1. Um, this lets you counterattack even if you're suffering from um, any of the systems down or attack systems down where you can't use that function, which is nice. But I don't know, I never have that happen that often enough to be worth it. I mean, if you have it, you have it, but it's not a high priority. And Last Stand lets you, uh, when it's low, when your monster is below half, um, it deals critical damage so that's another one that could be good but it's very situational so right now we're just gonna buy shotgun level one because that's the one we're gonna use the most obviously and oh, I don't have enough EP if I had enough if I gotten enough EP from the previous site I would have bought rank two but that's not immediately important Rania since you've got 31 points let's see what you've got skill shot plus two rifle level plus one like before increases rifle damage which you definitely want to do so we're going to buy that. Oops. And then, yeah, he's got Terror Shot, Panic Shot. He also has the Escape ability, which gives him a chance to flee. The only problem with that is that basically he just leaves the battle. Um, but all, all it really does is just delays the inevitable, which I guess if he's about to die would be useful. But I don't know. That's another one of those situational ones I don't really care for. But hey, if you like it, go ahead. But this is the one we want, Aim. Raises accuracy by uh, kneeling uh, by kneeling the pilot's monster, and the target can't evade. Uh, but he can't counterattack till the next turn. But really, if you're playing Rainius co correctly, he shouldn't be counterattacking or being counterattacked. Yeah, in the last episode, he was getting attacked all the time. That's because I was being foolish. But you're not supposed to have him do that. Like he's not supposed to be the the target of people's anger. You know, so. All right, let's set a skill. So let's set aim on him if we can get that to unlock. Um, and then for Schaefer, yeah, he gets max AP, skill slots, evasion, defend body. Yeah, you know my feelings on that. Blood damage 10 and repair plus. Repair plus might not be bad to get on him because he's the repair type. But for now, we're going to just do skill slots 2. Um, really, just because I don't... Uh, I just... Oh, not skill slots too, dang it. I meant uh, max AP. Well, I can redo it. Sorry. I was uh, looking at my notes incorrectly, so... Well, I can always back up if it's really that big of a deal. Sorry, max AP is what I want there. God, I can't believe I bought skill slots too. Oh, well. Like I said, I can just redo this if I really need to. But no. All right. Because we, you know, we want him to be able to move and heal and stuff like that. So, all right, we're done with that. So, let's go to the simulator. Oh yeah, I guess I could, well, we'll do the simulation and then if I have some time, I'll go over some of the tutorials that I missed before, like uh, time weather repairs, facing evasion and stuff like that. But right now we want to do UCS simulation number one, so. So this might take a hot minute to do. This one's one of those that takes about, if you're roughly doing everything correctly, should take about 18 rounds to do, so. All right, um, I think I want to put, Yeah, I think I want to put you guys. Well, actually, let's see. Yeah, that'll work. All right, we got player one phase. Let's see what we got here. All right, we got some obviously 
unique, or not unique, uh, different units here. Let's see, we've got a machine gunner with a husky mark. I don't think he has any skills. Nope, no skills. All right, I got a couple of uh, V6 Arnold tanks. So we need to make sure to, basically in this case, unlike the previous one where I was like gonna just go through the water, you know, in the opposite way. This time I'm actually, I am gonna um, make sure to get the tanks bottleneck over here. If you can do it rightly, you can get them all, all to basically bottleneck each other onto the bridge for the most part. So that's what we wanna do. And then after taking out all the tanks, then we take out the one lone um, um, mech here. So let's see, I think they all, I think all of them are the same, if I recall. Oh, no, there's another mech over there. Okay. Yeah, no skills. And then, yeah, another machine gunner and the same husky unit, stuff like that. So, all right. Let's go. We want, we basically what we want to do is we want to have Schaefer make sure he does the first attack on it so he takes all the uh, aggressive attacks from the tanks and everything with that because he's got the most HP. Yeah, the AI is supposed to indicate that the tanks all go first. Um, or go first and they go towards the bridge is what they're doing, so. Oops, wrong button. All right, let's get Schaefer. Yeah, we wanna make sure to get Schaefer over to the bridge to bottleneck him, and then we'll just uh, take him out one by one. How much do they move again? Uh, one, two, one, actually, move to the front there. I think I can let's see. It moves here. Oops, no, that's not what I want to do. Um, you can only move out. So I'll just wait one more turn and then have a. Uh, I need to just have enough movement for him to be able to get over there, so. Yeah, okay. Let me move you back a bit just so you don't get targeted. Oops. Nope, that's not what I want to do. There we go. Alright, I just need them to move one more turn. There we go. That'll be good enough. That'll do, pig. That'll do. And we want to make sure to like try to prevent very uh, movement from a lot of the characters. So, all right, Schaefer, you need to go. You need to attack him first, so you take the brunt of their their attacks. Haha! -ha, but we have impact armor. Haha! -ha, you fool! You foolish fool! No. Um, okay. And yeah, we'll just have Rainier's. Let's see. Yeah, you can't counterattack anyway, so might as well make sure you guarantee it. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, there are certain skills in the game that'll guarantee usage. They have that little like, I don't know, you saw that mini squares bar on him. Um, you can, that's one of the few skills where you can choose to use it as opposed to the ones with that like X symbol. I'll show, I'll look at it again later, but yeah, that, that allows them to, um, use it whenever he wants. Oh, ugh, that's terrible. Oh, well. That's what I get for shooting through the grass, but. Aha. Yeah, your, my impact armor will, is strong against you. Yeah, as long as you know what you're going up against, these guys are, and yeah, they're not gonna do anything until we move to a certain point, so. All right, once again, I need to make sure Schaefer is the target of our attack, so I'll also attack this guy. Because as soon as, like, for the most part, the AI will follow a line of either weakest target or whoever attacks them first, depending on the situation, so. Now just to uh, you know, crap at it, or shoot the, sh uh, shoot the crap out of you, so. Alright, once again, we'll go and use aim. Yeah, he'll probably not miss at all, but 
you know, I, I, I just want to make sure to prevent that chance from happening, so. And I don't really care about counterattacking in this case, so I'm not going to try to save my AP in some weird way, so. Although, eventually, that damage will end up adding up, so. Probably have to use a turn to heal him, so. I should. If we get lucky, he might finish him off. We'll see, though. Yeah. Sometimes there can be some slight variables when it comes to the damage, but that's fine. Nice. Alright, let's get a. Uh, make sure to get you targeted, too. I mean, that probably, I don't remember exactly how the AI works in this situation, but, um, cause I don't know if they would do, if I didn't shoot them all, if they would just kind of go in a line and just kind of take the hit or whatever, but. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of weird how those just bobbleneck like that. It seems kind of odd, but whatever. Yeah, there's not really not much to this fight. I guess I could have just kind of steamrolled this without having to show off everything. I thought I'd show my uh, show my process, you know, how I do things. It's still weird how you, how you can miss shots when you're basically point blank range, but what do I know, right? Yeah, too bad Schaefer doesn't do a ton of damage, but that's not what he's designed for. The healers can't do damage. I'm trying to remember what video game actually has where the, uh, man, too bad we don't have, like, grenades or, like, uh, rockets or anything like that. Man, those would be, a, like, a, you know, shooting fish in a barrel, which it pretty much is, but. I said, the, really, the reason I'm using that ability all the time is just so I don't, uh, I guarantee a hit. It just, you know, so I don't have to waste time on other things. Or wasting another round, so let's go ahead and repair you, even though, and you'll have plenty of. Um, actually, I'll show you. Let me show you how much all parts will get you if you heal it. Yeah, you can see that it doesn't completely heal. Actually, I, I should have paid attention to the numbers to see how much it healed, just to show you what it was. But I think it's like 10 or 20 percent of of the of their HP or something like that. So. Oh, and if you notice that, like, uh, Renia's uh, model, uh, yeah, see, he stays down. That's why he can't counterattack or whatever on his turn, because he's, he's in a locked-in position. When the turn starts, he stands up again. I don't know if you noticed that, but that's what that's what he does when he uh, uh, when he does that ability, and that's him basically resetting. I'm kind of surprised they didn't use that turn to hit us, actually. They just kind of moved forward. That was a bit weird. Maybe the AI is being a little bit wonky at this time. So. I've never actually co hacked or coded the game. But yeah, they're not even attacking me. That's weird. Huh. All right. Whatever. I'll just keep shooting then. And have Schaefer shoot first so you can take the counter attack if they decide not to attack that turn. So. Although technically, if I had shot with uh, um, Daryl, he probably would have finished off the tank before even counterattacking. But... Man, these must be the stupidest like uh, tank po uh, tank controllers ever. Just letting them. Uh... Ooh, we gained a level. Just letting us take it. Um, yeah, not even counterattacking us anymore. All right. Oops. Back to Rainy's again. I mean, yeah, it adds an extra animation. And like I said, my hit is 99%, but why not, right? I'm trying to think, uh, I was gonna make a reference like a, a tank game or something like that, like Metal Max or, uh, or what's that one uh, manga? 
Akira Toriyama did where he's like a tank commander on the desert planet. I never actually read it, I just saw the pictures of it. Um, I'm trying to think of another game that has like a tank like tank character as like the main as like the main force of the, the story. Not too many actually. You would think there would be more because you know tanks are cool. I think they are anyway, I don't know. But you know, this big walking, basically mobile mobile artillery if you think about it. But. There's probably more like uh, oh there was that like one movie where basically all the all the major cities of the world ended up being mobile. Like But I heard that movie wasn't very good. I never watched it, but I heard not really great things about it, so I didn't really waste my time on it. Which is sad because which is sad because I like Peter Jackson, the guy who directed it, but uh, you know, either it was his direction or maybe the script he got or whatever, but you know, it wasn't very good. So, All right, I'm not going to waste his, uh, his all his damage on that little stinky thing, so we're going to attack the other one. All right. Uh, now I'll have Daryl finish it off because that way I can have Schaefer. Actually, I could just wait there. They're not gonna counterattack me anyway, so. Actually, I'll just have you heal. Actually, let me watch this time to see how much it actually heals, so. 380, 206, 125. Okay, it's about 40. So, yeah, that's about. Actually, that might be more than 40%, or 20%. Because it healed like 40 on the legs. Maybe it's based off the total percentage of the total damage that the leg can take. It might be the 10% of, like, what the total value of it is. Hmm. Anyway. Alright, let's, uh, once again. Shoot with gusto. Once again. Yeah, unfortunately, this is kind of isn't very exciting. Oh, well. Yeah, not every... Well, most of the simulations don't tend to be very exciting because it's basically just there to grind out experience. But, you know, every once in a while you get a simulation that has some interesting uh, features or abilities. Like, there's one simulation you have to do. Oh, okay. So, I guess they start moving when at least most of the tanks get destroyed, it looks like. Alright. This aim will be more useful against uh, Max than it is against... Uh, Tanks. But I'm gonna move next turn. Maybe I should step back a bit. Try to get uh, closer to Renya so Renya doesn't have to really move. And we're not trying to bottleneck the, uh, um, the Bonzer this time. So. Okay, there we go. Well, I wasn't sure how far he moved. Probably, probably should have uh, moved one one bit closer. Oh, he must, I think he has a machine gun resistance, if I recall. Uh, yes. So Schaefer is not going to be very helpful during this fight. So. Oh well. Still, we want to take his his uh, camera back. What was this percentage to hit? It must not have been that high. Or low, I mean. Hmm. Well, anyway. Oops. I meant to aim. Oh, well. I was about to say, it was probably going to guarantee to hit, so it's not like that big of a deal. But. Yeah, too bad all the, most of the enemies in the game will carry two versions of the weapon, so you can't do like what, what happened in the previous game. Where you can just uh, take out an arm if you're lucky, and basically make the enemy useless for the rest of the rest of the camp, uh, rest of the uh, battle. So, I think there will be some situations where they won't have two weapons in both arms, but like when it comes to like the riflers and stuff like that. But yeah, I think they learned their lesson from the previous game about uh, about that. Yeah, man, you can tell that resistance really plinks at the damage, or the uh, how much damage you can do. Yeah, one more 
turn with the uh, with the uh, um, shotgun. Probably the best way to finish him off. Oh, he only had enough for one counter. Dang it! I was hoping he'd finally get his arm or something like that, but. He's like, why I ought to? I don't know. I just like the way that the things move and turn. I don't know. It's just something entertaining about the way they do it for some reason. I will guarantee a hit with this. A mighty hit. Oh, nice. Maybe we can uh, finish this faster than if we uh, do that. Uh, yeah, let's just have Daryl shotgun him to death. That should finish him off. That was 80%, wasn't it? Man, Schaefer, you're a, you're to hit. Well, then again, I don't think you get a major hit bonus with your arms. So, but still, I think it was an 80%. I can't believe it. I missed it close shot. So, um, if if I remember correctly, this fight, yeah, we're okay. So it took us a little longer to finish this because this is 19 turns. It should roughly it should take you 18 turns to finish this off. So I probably should have. I mean, it doesn't really change much stuff by too much but you know I could have been a bit more efficient with uh, with my rounds oh well All right, let's get you in and get a let's see if you die okay yep I'll counter with my one attack Come on, man. I gotta double check what his, uh, like, what his, uh, the hit thing is. 83? Yeah, how does he keep dodging? Man. I guess Schaefer's just, like, really unlucky or something. Well, now he won't dodge, now that I've destroyed his legs. You don't have your legs, because they ain't there. Or his evasion is basically nil at that point, so. Whew. Body shot. Body blow, body blow. Uh, all right. Yeah, you should get about 12,000 uh, plus credits for this. And yeah, roughly about um, 20 AP. Although for whatever reason, Schaefer got less than the average for some reason. But whatever. All right. Well, that's it for the simulation. Yeah, pretty, unfortunately, pretty straightforward. Not very difficult at all. Not very exciting, but uh, it's still funny how they just, the tanks will just bottleneck like that and just let you just, just take them out or whatever. So, but anyway, that's it for our crew. You know, they need a train to get better because who know what, who knows what awaits them at this base. Can they, can they steal the trucks successfully or will the three stooges make a, make a, a muck of things? Find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission 4. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.